today is a new day and we are going to waste no time today in getting things done. Um, if you guys remember in our last video, we were actually working on the roof rafters. Um, we only actually got one put together. Um, kind of putting that together, we kind of were maybe exploring a little bit more options that we could possibly put the roof on. But we ended up coming back to our same plan that we originally had, but we actually come up with like a little better idea as far as um, for all the cuts and the measurements. That way everything is cut perfect. So that way we don't have like different heights because it's gonna make it a lot harder to put the roof actually on there if they're not actually perfect. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of get this going, uh, put the roof on there. Once again, it's gonna change the whole feel on this. I hopefully we can get most of them done today. We did make it to the store yesterday and pick up some supplies for the rest of these rafters because based on the supplies we had, we only had enough to do like four rafters, I think. So I'm ready to get going. Uh, Anthony has been spending a lot of time getting things prepped and ready for all this. So I say, let's get it. total just for this section 15 complete ones uh -huh. <clears throat> for just the the supply room this yeah part. just the supply room and so it'd probably be like seven or eight over there well that's 30 you know pieces like this and 15 bottom pieces Jeez. and then the supports yeah it's a lot so <laughs> <sighs> a lot gonna, of rinse and repeat today well i'm gonna set up the best i can i think i'm gonna make like a jig something to where I could, it's just real quick you know you don't have to measure it's just ready to go you just push it up and cut mm -hmm. but i gotta make sure that's correct because if i don't do it right then at the end of it i'll go to measure and everything will be wrong and then we would have wasted money yeah you know what i'm saying yeah and time and time so <laughs> but the way they do these in factories it's the same way it's a big giant jig they just slide a board up and it gets like pushed up and locked in place and then um, they'll have saws come up and cut them and then they'll be all pressed together and different. It's, you know, I looked at a bunch of videos how they do them and I'm going to do it kind of similar, I guess, kind of just man -made. my own way. <laughs> man made, not ma yeah. by machine. And so what I want to do is cut all the boards. Did you see these ones we cut last time? Our collection. Yep. So far. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut everything and then we're going to put them together. So they're, once I'm done cutting, there's no more cutting. It's just now we're going to put them together. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. Right. And get it going. And we don't need those as long either. Yeah. So I'm going to try to set up a jig to where it's right when I cut it, it's the exact same length. We need them seven feet from the, from like here, from this cut to the bottom. It needs to be seven feet. So, I'm trying to figure something out. Okay. Make it easy. Yeah. I'm all about easy. Me too. Work, work smarter, not harder, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of working smarter, not harder, Anthony got something new the other day when he was in town. Something he's been talking about and wanting to get. And he finally broke down and bought one. And he loves it. I do love it. And if you guys are wondering why I haven't bought a hand cordless saw this whole time I'm blaming it on her <laughs> I've been waiting to see if she buy me buy me one for my birthday or Christmas but she uh, always says if you want it go get it yourself not in like a bad way yeah, yeah I'm yeah. pretty sure she just wants me to make sure I get the one I want so I did yeah. and this thing's awesome I mean <laughs> it's nice yeah it's very nice I've used it a bunch already and it's so much better than that that 1922 handsaw that I got yeah. 300, that's an, that's 300 years ago. Yeah, we should. Uh, <laughs> what, wasn't that Georgia's? No, I bought that. I bought that when we were redoing 
the camper. Really? Yeah. I thought you always had that. Mm -mm. So I learned I, something new today. Yeah, I guys. bought that when we redo the camper because I knew we needed a handsaw. Yeah. But then that Christmas you bought me that. Yeah, because I was watching you use the handsaw. For everything. Yeah, and I felt like bad and I was like, well, I guess we're gonna we'll be using this in Arkansas, so so see I did buy you a saw for your birthday or Christmas. That was Christmas. You did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you bought this. Yep. But I've used this probably more than anything. Yeah. <laughs> We've gotten our money's worth out of that. Oh yeah, for sure. So this, the pitch on this is is 26 and a half inch uh, Degree? degrees. Yeah, if you guys see I have the miter, you know, set to 26 and a, and a half degrees. So this doesn't move. The boards are eight feet long. I need them at seven feet from like I just mentioned, but from here to here it needs to be seven feet. So I figured if I measure, those are eight feet. I'm gonna double check before I cut anything to make sure they're exactly eight feet because those are actual eight foot boards, not studs. So they're not, they're not studs. If you guys do construction, you know what I mean by that. But um, so if I need a foot off, I'll mark a foot, how much I need to cut off. <clears throat> right, so that's, that's 12 inches right there. Right here, that's a foot. But I need the, the cut on the top to be like that. So an easy way, see this one's already, this one's already cut like that, so. Let me just trace this out, just so I can mark it. So, yeah. I guess, yeah, I marked it. That's, that's 26 and a half degrees. That's what I need. And I need that to be right at 12 foot off the board so I can do one cut and I don't have to go back and do a straight cut. Do you because, cut the length with the angle? Yeah, because I can cut, if this, is, if this was a eight foot board, I mean, I can make an angle right here on the end. Yeah. But then I'd have to go back and cut a foot off. Yeah, you'd have to put the saw back to zero yeah. and then cut it flat. And I'm or, trying to avoid that. I'm trying to just do one cut at seven feet and with an angle. Yeah. Right? So I can bring, because I got to do 30 of these things. Yeah, I was going to say, or <laughs> you leave that in an angle and use your hand saw to cut them straight. But then yeah, that's but then still... it's not perfectly straight. That's why I like the miter because it's straight. Yeah. Well, I was you know going to say I mean? that, and it's, it's just a lot of back and forth yeah. and measuring and cutting. So, good thing with this miter, so I can line this up. You guys look right here just to show you guys if you guys are wondering everyone's going through my mind on all this stuff so the saw is set up right there cut that I know that's a foot and I can just bring this guy right here like this a little spacer and tighten this down mm -hmm. a little stopper yep Make sure it's real tight and double check every single time it's not moving. Yeah. You don't want to slam a board in here on accident and it moves and you don't realize it. Yeah, well, yeah. it moves just an eighth of an inch or yeah, quarter of an inch. Yeah, exactly. So I'll take each board. I don't even have to mark it, do nothing right now. Eight foot board. I'll go put it like this against the stopper. Cut it, ink. And I know that that'll be a foot cut off on every board and leave each board seven feet. In theory, right now. Well, <laughs> it will. I, I'm sure it's going to work. If it anything, they'll all be the exact same size, you know. And the seven foot is leaving some tail on this, so you have some, some tail. Yeah. So I'm going to try this with an eight foot board, a scrap piece that I'm not using to make sure this is correct. I'm sure it is. But then I'm going to do that and get that done, and then all these cuts like this will be done. Nice. I can do it probably in five minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of last time trying to figure it out because there's no there's no reason to mark every single board and be like Oh, yeah, if you can do something like this. Yeah, I mean, it's pointless. It's a waste of time Yeah, well once again working smarter not harder, right? I'm trying to Okay, so I got an eight-foot board if You guys want to see Eight feet like exactly 
And that's what those are over there. Exactly eight feet. So now, I should be able to just grab one of these boards. Put it like that. Cut it. And now, from here to there, it should be seven feet with an angle. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. There's the angle. Angle for the rafter. Easy peasy. So I'm going to use this one. You can use that as your template. I don't need a template anymore. Well, I'm talking about laying it down on the ground. No, I don't need it for that. But yeah, I won't waste it though. These, the ones that we did before, they, the length of them all need to be cut a foot off. We didn't do that on even like that one. Um, because I looked at some different plans and stuff and found these ones and so it calls for a shorter tail or whatever it's called which is fine so I'm just these six right here I'm gonna have to cut later just straight but I'll do that at the very end they're the only thing that needs to be changed just the length of those but not by much nicest boards as we can. Yeah, they're very pretty. Yeah, so <laughs> the other the other boards we got, I think they were just straight studs. Um, they were really bad, Yeah. quite honestly. I'm not trying to talk bad about nothing, but they were like split and like, they're like the half round boards. Like they'd have like, you know, from a little stick of a tree, one board. But these, we wanted to make sure these were actual straight square boards. And it's white pine, it's really nice. And same thing with the other ones, the big longer ones. So, because it's important because it's, you know, your trusses, so. Yeah, it's gonna support a lot of weight, so. Yeah, oh, they're gonna be great, so. Yeah. Got them all here, we can get cutting these 30 now. <laughs> How exciting. All done. That literally, literally took me six minutes to cut 30 of those boards in it this way. <laughs> that, I mean, it took me six minutes to figure out the length of a board on the other ones. So I'm very happy I'm doing it this way because 
you guys can see the whole pile's done in mm. like less than 10 minutes. Yep, saved definitely a lot of time Man. doing it this way. Good job, baby. Yeah, and now we have to figure out another jig for these big long pieces, and this one's gonna be a little harder to do. Um, let me put my brain, my hat on, figure it out. Your thinking cap? My thinking cap, yeah. You should do exactly the same piece. Wait, no, they gave us 12 footers. That's right, because they didn't have any 10 footers. Oh, yeah. They and didn't. we already paid for them, and I was like, well, I don't want any of those, you know, stud looking 10 footers. I want the nice ones, and so they gave us 12 footers. Oh, okay, well, then. So you're... that's even better. I was going to say that's even better, huh? I think. So over the past years, um, I figured out, I'm sure this is how they've been doing it forever anyway, but I figured out. So when you have like the, these right here, this is going to be, you know, you want some rafters like this, right? Well, you need that cross beam right here, which is what we're building. But this angle right here is going to be a lot, you know, more degrees than this. So you're like, well, how do you do that and make it an easy way just to do this? Because you're just making a triangle. I mean, all building is in all reality is geometry. I mean, it really is angles and different things. So for a triangle, if you know the two sides angle, which is 26 and a half, you can mathematically do it and subtract it from 180 and all that kind of stuff if you want. Or what you can do, like I do, if you look, I'll put, here's an angled cut, 26 and a half, which is, that's what those are. This is just the cut off of it. You put your saw back to zero. Right. So it's a 90 degree. And so what you need to do though is you need to move this up to right where the saw is going to cut it. So I'll just put it on the blade. Okay. Lock it in place so it doesn't move. Now, if I took a board and use this as the angle like this, okay, and then this cut right here is going to be the angle you need to finish the triangle because they all want to equal up to 180, if I remember from high school, <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? So um, the only problem is with this. I found <clears throat> is you can't just shove this board all the way up because it'll be off a little bit. I can do it on like the first cut since these are 12 footers, but to make, I need the span to be 10 feet exactly. So let me just show you there real quick. So if you do that, you cut this angle. So I'm keeping it lined up right here. I'm not doing this. I'm keeping it lined up. that angle. So now, right? You guys see? Obviously this other side would be this angle too. Makes it makes it a triangle. So that would be over there. You guys get it? I gotta do that on the ten footers. And I want to make a jig just like I did there so I can just burn, 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 burn real quick. So I got to figure it out. So unfortunately with these giant long ones, there's no way to jig it the way I did the other ones. I wish there was. There's just not. So we're going to cut one side first. And then I'm going to have to hand cut the other side. But we're going to get always cut first like this.
Yeah. While Anthony is cutting all of those, I figured I'd show you guys something around here. We are getting very festive around here. As you guys know, Halloween is coming up very soon and I pulled out all my Halloween decorations <laughs> and actually got them all set up. We are officially ready for Halloween and it's so cool. Like we got like these little skeletons. I bought some of that fake spider webs. I got my ghost to some of you guys might remember these little ghost things I got I had those last year out I've added a few more decorations to my collection this year um, which is very cool I'm, I'm very excited I love to decorate and usually like fall is when I very very first start decorating for the holidays and the seasons um, I used to decorate for every season like summer springtime um, all the little holidays this is back in Vegas but I haven't really gotten into that this time around, um, but I'm hoping going forward now, especially when we get the supply room done, um, I'll have a place to keep all my decorations so I can get back into decorating for all the holidays, seasons, everything. So here's the little graveyard that we put in. Some pretty cool little signs. And then my spider webs, I put like big, got some big fat spiders in there. <laughs> a couple of them and then I took my little plant stand here and I put some more decorations on there I got like my witch's legs got some pumpkins and some skulls some more spiders and spider webs a crazy cat named twister right twister or no that's midnight I couldn't tell if you were twister or midnight because you're filthy <laughs> but yeah I got them all going on um, I think it is very cool. Um, Anthony gave me one of his little signs to put out here for Halloween. Um, these are new. We bought these skeletons this year. They're really cool. <laughs> I like those. Uh, I got the house really nicely decorated as well. Um, I did put like window stickers and stuff on. So we are all ready for Halloween. Um, the festivities for Halloween has begun. So very exciting stuff. <laughs> So remember guys how I said I did some research and I was looking at like videos of how uh, factories make these trusses. They basically have like a big jig set up. I mean everyone's factory is different but the ones I've seen they have like a jig set up right where they just put the board in and kind of like the saw where it can't move at a certain stopping distance and then they nail everything together or press it together and that's what I did here. So I made some measurements took some of the cutoff pieces and they're um, above where they're supposed to be and hopefully um, this will be just a jig I put everything together and the boards and everything will be perfect where they need to be but only we'll see you know so like, like this one there's that <laughs> it's like a puzzle. I mean, I know these cuts are, I had to hand cut those, but 
as long as it gets it in its spot, which yeah, <clears throat> it right. looks it looks right. All right, guys, what do you think? And then that way, I did buy some of these. These these are mending plates. Now these are not truss plates. I know. Well, it's basically the same thing, but the truss plates these are squiggled. They're not up in line. But I'm still going to be using. Let me show you. Like the gussets. Remember we made those on the last one. But to build these quickly, so where I, I don't have to like do all everything all at once and try to put one big thing together plus gussets. So I bought these, and I know that these. Before anybody says it in the comments, I already know. Um, in the factory, these are pressed on with hydraulics. I know that. These are not going to be the only thing holding these together. This is just so I can get these built and then have them be able to stand up and do the gussets and different things. I think it's going to be way easier than trying to do everything, hold the boards together, do the gussets, everything all in one thing without anything moving. I think this is the best way to go. Well guys, after doing one truss with the plate, those things are really hard to beat in. Like I'm not lying, and then they get all warped, and I understand why they say don't nail them in, I get it. I was hoping it'd be easier than that just so I could get these together. We did one, but I'm still gonna have to go back and do the gussets anyway, so I'm like, you know what? Might as well just make the gussets and do them when they're in this configuration. They'll be nice and sturdy and I'll be done with it, if that makes sense. Yeah, you only got to touch it once. Yeah, instead right. of going back and doing it twice. So I think that's what we're going to do. saw died so we gotta let the battery charge yep that's all right though yeah that's okay these cuts that we're making right here is actually probably gonna be really nice on the miter saw yeah we need 30 of them yeah so we're the plan is it's just kind of burn 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 that sound like Anthony <laughs> Just cut them out. Let you take a We're done cutting those, huh? Yeah, doing it this way was a lot quicker. I know they're big giant triangles, but 
are fine. Yeah. The other ones are just triangles with it with it cut off. Yeah. So I don't see it hurting just being big triangles. No. I don't either. You know. But that took a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. It took more time. I think just to do the six we did the last go round. Yeah, I will say though, you didn't have a a cheat sheet or anything. Not a cheat sheet, but a a cheater. No. You know, to trace it. Well, that first one, no. Yeah, you had to figure it out, right? Yeah. That's part of the reason why it took so long, at least. Sometimes figuring it out is more than half the battle. It is. You know? Most of the time. Yeah, and then once you figure it out, it's, you know, it pretty ain't, smooth it ain't sailing. Too bad. Yeah. Okay. But we got a lot of those. Look at those. Yeah. That is a lot. Well, a lot of these we're going to use for the other side. Yeah. If need be. Yeah. So let's see. I see you got quite the pile there organized. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> and it looks like we're going to have enough to do all of them, so that's great. Yeah, all of them. We, got, we bought enough to do everything. I calculated out. Yep. I guess pretty much on the T. Yeah, you're getting, huh. you're getting good at calculating. Yeah, no now, waste huh? on that on that uh, plywood at all. Not yeah. one piece. Yeah, there is none. <laughs> well, a speck. Where? Remember for the. Uh, oh yes, for the. We're three. talking like a eight inch by two foot piece. Yeah, yeah. So pretty good. Yeah, very good. I think we are finally ready. <laughs> Start building trusses, finally. Yes, Anthony's been busy making all the final cuts, cutting these triangle pieces down to size. We got everything kind of laid out here, ready for, to put together. Um, very easy to grab. So I think we should be able to knock these out fairly quickly, right babe? I think so. Yeah. I do think so. All right, I'm ready. Let's get it. got nine trusses done today. I'm <laughs> upset we didn't get all of them done, but. Yeah. We're... Well, we actually, the boards we cut the first go around, they're actually, it's like a half an inch longer, the bottom ones than yeah. these ones. Plus the uh, other rafters too across, those ones are a little longer. So we need to, we need to cut those still. But we have been working all day. It is like almost dinner time. Yeah, we've been out here for Ugh. a while. And I am, my back is just like, no more. Yeah. No more for you, please. No. But take a look, guys. I think they're coming out awesome. Yeah, they look they're, they're really they're sturdy. Yeah, they're very sturdy. I mean, not bad for never making what is, trusses like that, huh? Yeah, no, I've never made them before. Yeah. First time. Yeah, looks really cool. Well, for the most part. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, the closest we'd come to it was the pond thing. Yeah. But those aren't really even trusses either. They're no, like, those were a little different than these ones. Yeah, came out good. You no, know, they turned Neither. out really, really nice. And a good thing, on a good note, we used up all that wood we just bought yesterday. Yeah, well, everything. <laughs> everything's used. Yeah, and our pile right there is gone. This is all the scrap stuff that we pulled off the pole barn. But let me tell you guys, this is a lot of work. Oh, yes. This I... is a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, me too. Quite honestly, I thought we were going to be done with this at like noon. Um, but as you guys know, that's never the case yeah. around here. I'm like, oh, it'll take a day. Yeah. And then a month later, it's oh, barely getting finished. Yeah, well, this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this won't take, this won't be too bad. Yeah. But I went overboard on the nails, I think. Oh, yeah. No, I put I... in like 500 nails per uh, truss. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. 
and on both sides so i don't think those are yeah. going anywhere no 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 yeah we put these gussets on both sides and they're nailed from both sides yep because last thing i want is anything to happen to the roof you know i mean it's iffy building a roof yeah you know especially a gable roof it's got to be able to support the weight and all that kind of stuff so i'm curious to see when we put them all up like when we're standing at the end looking down mm -hmm. if, if they're all going to be straight and in I line hope, i hope when that be isn't that gonna if be they're cool? not then the roof's going to be all wonky yeah it'd be all you I, know yeah i guess that would be a test huh they should be they're all, all the boards are the same length so yeah. we'll see i think it'll come out good i think so too baby 